You can tell, look how bright we look. We are bright. Bright, <laughs> bright and cheery. Bright so, and hey, cheery. Um, tomorrow I actually have a video coming out, how to bid cabinets. And so um, I'm sure there's quite a few people that wanna know how we bid cabinets. So we're gonna talk about that. Um, but I'm gonna, right here, we're on YouTube today and I'm um, live and we're gonna answer your questions, how we go about we're bidding cabinets. Whoa, now we can watch ourselves. Well, you wanted me to right there. listen so, um, to watch the questions. How to bid cabinets. So um, I we got somebody on, greetings here. from Maryland. We got Maryland yes. on. If you have any questions, how to bid cabinets, we are here to help you. And um, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. And, and our store just closed. We just closed. We had our last customer. We had a handful of customers today. We had a lot of customers today. Yeah. It was a nice day. Um, yeah, I look like the sun is shining on me and But we um we were gonna do a giveaway for people that have been into the store. Yeah, oh we're gonna give away a Titan gun. And um, what else are we gonna give we away? We can probably so the sun's not shining on me, we'll move over here and you can move over there. There we go. That's probably a little bit better. Is that Maybe a little not. bit better? Yeah, so, um, it's all right. Okay. It's kinda now, like we got this glare. You know, the, the lights shining on us. I think you um, picked the wrong angle, but that's no, okay. I, Okay, um, so I'm going to be looking down at, oh, there's there's the messages. So what else are we going to be giving away? Um, oh, we're going to give away some Aqua Coke because we are talking about cabinets, bidding cabinets. So um, I just did a video series, painting cabinets and getting rid of oat grain using Aqua Coat. Really like the product. So we're You're not give done away, with the series though. Um, no, the so video one has come out. Um, video two, um, the bidding, how to bid cabinets. So that's gonna be posted tomorrow. So if you wanna know really in depth how we go about bidding cabinets, um, how much I charge, um, how much you should charge, mm -hmm. um, this video is for you. Um, if you have any questions right now, we're here live to well, answer your questions. And any questions about using aqua coats, cause you're gonna give that away. We can probably scoot over that way a little bit more. Maybe, mm -hmm. so, um, oh, there we go. Look at that, there see now. Go. Now the sun's not glaring on my face oh. as much. Yeah, so. it's a beautiful day in Boise, Idaho. Beautiful day in Boise. Now we so, gotta start thinking um, about exterior. Hey y'all, so Suzanne Hudson's on. Oh, we, got, we um, miss you. How are you doing? What's up? Uh, um, uh, we got yeah, people jumping on. Larry, um, the Star Wars Stormtrooper is hanging out with us today. Um, That's good to know. So Lindsay Santana, check out the store. Um, love it. So. Our sword, there's a car driving up. Hopefully the door's locked, so we're closed now. Yes, so they we can't are come closed. in. Yes. Uh, we close at four. So Yes. Because um, it's Saturday. Yeah. Please give away um bow bucks. I'm not sure what that so is. So Tommy said we did a job using aqua coats. What a pain, but the grain was virtually gone. What would be the pain? Yeah, it well, it's it's labor intensive. I don't mm -hmm. think it's like to me it's not a pain. It's just you just gotta take your time, mm -hmm. uh, be clean don't get it all over you i just use little bits at a time mm -hmm. and just um put it out with um i got videos showing you how to do it so um yeah so not a pain to you it's not a pain um you know when you first start out it's a you know it there's a learning a curve there's a learning curve to it yeah so that lady's car now the glare from her car is like shining right in my face oh. um it's a white car so Why don't we come over here we'll come over this way more yes so we can just rotate things and okay. um, how easy that yes. goes look at that yes so how we can just so we're gonna lighting. do we're oh. gonna give away a couple gift cards to the store we're gonna do a drawing for the titan gun of somebody that's come into our store and we are going to give away aqua coats give so away. we can't give these things to you unless we know you're with us so we're going to give away some gift cards we're going to give away some gift cards so does anybody it's nice because things just roll around in the store yes so, they do um like somebody just said something oh my god chris Lee, something are you are you checking questions yes i'm trying i'm trying also i was going to say these limited supply we have them on clearance at our 50 store 50 percent off five dollars for four Ultra, ultra, What's ultra microfiber rollers. Nathan's hanging out with us. So if you win a gift card, do you have any rollers. any questions? Um, Willie's Wonderland. Do you have any questions on how to bid cabinets? So I'll, I'll tell you. I'm just gonna give you um, the way I bid cabinets. I walk into the house, or you can even do it. Um, I've done them over the phone. Say, send me some pictures. 
I just count the doors and drawers. So doors I and drawers. start off and we have a base price. So my price starts off $115 per door and $95 per drawer. It's very simple. And I've thought like my bidding processes, I mean, if you watched on my um, business series on um, paintings, so um, a lot of estimating stuff and how to how I run my business and market and stuff, I try to make things simple and easy. I try to think, make it complicated. And I think like with you, you're saying these prices, you need to know where you're located, what the labor cost is, what, the cost of doing businesses. I mean, cause it could be a lot higher or it could be a lot less depending don't, on your location. Yeah, don't just take my price and just make that your price without doing some investigating. Cause you might be underselling yourself mm -hmm. or overselling yourself um, to charging too much. So $115 per door um, and $95 per drawer. And then where do you go from there? That's the question. I mean, is that just how much you so charge? So Nathan Staple says, what primer are you using? We were using Ben, but there's a national shortage. Um, so Ben, a lot of people do use Ben. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's a very popular primer. It's a really, Zinzer makes some really great stuff. I think we got some, there's some right over there. Let me grab some. Yeah, um, so we sell some at our store if you're having a so, shortage um, somewhere. We sell depending on it. what you, so Ben is a, a shellac based primer. And shellac based primers are amazing for doing a lot of different things, be, being a versatile primer, uh, get, getting rid of fish eye. This is a lifesaver right here. Get some fish eye on a cabinet somewhere, some spot fish eyes, hit this, the bomb can, bam, gone. So gone. somebody Magic. wanted to know about what about if they want antique finish, which adds glaze, sanding, and a clear coat? Because you're putting white aqua coats on. That wouldn't work for a clear coat. Yeah, so aqua coat, you would have to apply aqua coat after, because aqua coat, you can't stain it. And aqua coat's white, so it's going to leave um, white everywhere. But don't they have a clear that they, they sell? They have a clear, but it doesn't stain. So it's basically, um, aqua coat is basically made out of derivatives from paint. So some like acrylic and hmm. some of the things that go into making up paint is what aqua coat is made out of. And so um, when you apply your aqua coat, it's not gonna stain, it's non-stainable. So- um, I just learned something. You just learned something. That's good. Yeah, so it's really designed, I mean, it's, it's really good use is using it when you're painting cabinets when you're taking oak cabinets that are stained mm -hmm. and now you want to paint them but you want them to have a paint grade finish and not a stain grade finish so i have a question for you we i was told that they were in the guitar like that's how you have guitars that are glassy Kate, you're starting to get into some top secret information here and we can't divulge all that but oh. yes but um aqua coat were um it was developed and designed for is um giving a that a guitar a guitar is actually yeah. wood yeah and how do you get that absolute glass finish but like are guitar guitars painted or obviously they're not well, stained some of them are stained and painted there's all different things okay. you do with guitars and so okay. um, it all depends on you know what your guitar is um but yeah um tabletops that have that absolute glass finish and they're wood how do they get it well aqua coat is one of the products that is used to give you that finish but you would have to stain and then apply clear aqua coat over the top of your stain because mm -hmm. you stain first and then aqua coat would Put be the clear, clear over the top okay yeah that's not my, I don't like, I use it for cabinet repaint, so that's mm -hmm. not my expertise. Okay. So, um, but so, any cabinet, so, bit, so bin compared to kills? Um, you know, two different manuf, I think kills is made by a different company. I think mm -hmm. kills is um, made by kills, I think. <laughs> I think I'm not sure. Have you used kills? I have, and, and but do you there's have a preference? so like Ben is shellac based. Okay. Um, like kills, there's one kills that's oil based. Mm -hmm. So you gotta, I mean, shellac. Um, there's a lot of qualities about a shellac based primer. Um, one of the really true odor blocking primers. Um, shellac dries really fast, but um, what are you trying to block and seal? Oil based primers are good for sealing. Um, certain things, shellac based primers are mm -hmm. good for sealing. But so it gets back to, I actually use Renner 643 as a primer 
when I need to prime or I use render 851 as my top coat. But right so, now you've been painting with a different product. I've been testing out Benjamin Moore Advance, mm -hmm. so which is, um, I really, I actually like it. It's so actually- Tell um, us your thoughts if you use it. So Benjamin Moore Advance is, you hear a lot of people out there using it for cabinets and stuff. So I, there's all this um, scuttle, is that what you call it? When people like talk, is it called scuttle? I don't know. Um, but there's a lot of people talking about it and a lot of people saying <laughs> great things about it. Never heard scuttle before. <laughs> so, um, it's. I think it's. It will be great for trim paint. It, okay. It's. Um, if you brush and roll, this stuff is amazing. So I've been testing it, doing a bunch of tests with mm -hmm. it and stuff. Brushing and rolling it on a flat surface, taking the worst case scenario with a heavy nap and a, and a stiff brush, it levels out amazing. Like no brush strokes. It's mm -hmm. really good. It sprays out amazing, and um, it sprays out the finish is way better when you look at it in the right light. Um, the sprayed finish, absolute glass. But um, dry times is one of the, it, it takes a long time to dry. So 16 hours recoat times is one of the drawbacks to it. I'm accustomed to three coats in a day and sanding in between coats. Um, but um, you know, there's a lot of different ways people paint and do things. There's some people that spray on their cabinet finishes, you know, flat, um, put them on racks, which we've got right here, a, ra a rack sitting there mm -hmm. and then they come back the next day and do the next coat so, so rizzy painting says i've seen you doing aqua filler can you use it on fiberglass doors or only wood so aqua coat can be used on fiberglass doors if okay. you want to fill grain okay mm -hmm. so always sand first with a 320 um get yourself a good um mechanical bond it's just like a painting so mm -hmm. sand aqua coat stand in between aqua coats and then paint so um I'm spraying high build lacquer. Should I put a clear coat over the top after primer, then top coat? Okay, read that one more time. I'm spraying high build lacquer. Should I put a clear coat over the top after primer, then top coat? So our high build lacquer did not need a top coat. The only time that was our top coat and finish. And like our, the water-based PU I use, Renner 851, that's the top coat. The only time we would clear coat it is if we were doing like an antique finish, doing like a breakaway glaze. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing like a breakaway glaze, um, then you have to clear coat that. So, but the, the um, we would, when I was using lacquer, I highly recommend not using lacquers anymore. I'm too dangerous, too yeah. much liability, but hey, you know what? There's a lot of people that do. That's just my personal preference. I don't want the liability. I don't want the danger. I don't want the smells. Um, that go along with it and everything. So um, one and two KPUs are amazing these days. A guy was just in here um, today, absolutely loves Ilva. He is like the Ilva God. And, so you wanna try um, that sometime? I'm gonna try it. And so, and I was talking to him about the product I use and he's so gonna try that. Alvarez Painting says, what's better, red Bondo or aqua coats? I don't know, this is like turning into like, um, we're going away from the bidding, but that's no, fine. I mean, there's a lot of questions. Is there any bidding ones? No, but why do okay, you wanna? Okay, so forget the bidding. Let's yeah, go. because we want right. what they want. Exactly, we want We're here for our, you. We want what our, I mean, who cares what I wanna talk no, about? exactly. We're gonna talk about what you wanna talk about. So, so what's better, red Bondo or aqua coats? Um, so they're two different things. So okay. Bondo, we use red Bondo glazing putty. Don't a lot of people like to like shoot me down because um, it's not Bondo. So Bond, like if you have a big dent in a car, you go over Bondo fills the big dent, and then the glazing putty um, Bondo goes over the top of that to fill like small um, nicks and dings and imperfections. We use Bondo for nicks and dings and imperfections. Aquaco is a product; it shrinks a lot. Um, but it's used just to fill grain in wood, like the pinholes. You can, yeah, you can smear Bondo all over the place on, on a door to get rid of like brush strokes, mm -hmm. um, grain and stuff like that. But Bondo doesn't sand as well as Aquaco. Bondo's red, Aquaco's white. It's gonna take, it's harder to sand. Um, it's, you don't have much working time with Bondo. Um, aqua coat, you can smear it around, work with it, work with it, and it's really nice and workable. Bondo to Bondo is like dries really, really fast. It's a, it's a solvent based product. And so it, it, you don't have much time, but it's, you'll, if you had like a big ding, you spackle 
and then Bondo glazing over the top of it and um, Bondo glazing buddy over the top of it and two coats and you should never see the ding if you sand properly but um so small nicks and dings bondo mm -hmm. aqua coat's not gonna like um fill a hole um it's just a, a, a nick and gray. ding it's for really microscopic um grain pores and pinholes that are created by grain so pete jungle says scuttle is an english bucket tray <laughs> i it's something i remember it's like something like but there's something like what's scuttle butt it's like isn't scuttle butt like when i've never heard of up? that no i have no idea <laughs> have you ever used an edwards arista shield no and i heard it's really good so and we just found out that there's a don edwards here so how we need to try I, that how do they well you come back in the camera if you okay. want. Um, so, but we did hear that Dun Edwards just came here. They're brand new. So that's, oh, they're brand new? I thought they've been here a couple of years. That's brand new. Okay. I'm 52 years old. Two okay. years, that's brand, brand new. new. <laughs> a two year old is brand new to okay. me. I'm 52. But, but I'm now, old. Two year, 52 is old, two is new. So Orange County Funk, tell us, is, is it worth trying? Because you've yeah, heard about it. I've, I've heard about it. And I heard it's really good. So now that there's a store here, I mm -hmm. guess I can get a hold of it. So yes. um, we'll see. Yes. Somebody was saying, what's the best exterior paint for cold weather? Live in the north. Best cold weather paint? Mm -hmm. Live in the north. Live in the north. So I'll tell you, like, just to get back to the, the whole bidding thing, because the title was bidding. If you came here for bidding... This is, hasn't been a whole lot about bidding, but tomorrow I'm posting an entire 30 minute video on how time. to bid cabinets. How I go, not how to, how I go about bidding cabinets. Behind the scenes and into your thought process. Behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And it should give you a lot of help and information. So that's going to be posted tomorrow. So what do they have to do? They have to get like a notice that when it goes. Hit, like, do us a favor and um, do Lisa a favor because she's the good looking one. Um, do her a favor and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell right next to it. Subscribe to our channel. It's, it's interesting because it's free. Uh, subscribing to our channel has been free for 11 years, 12 years now. It's never costed a dime. Um, there's over 1,500 videos you get to watch for free, and it will never cost you anything. But if you don't subscribe and you don't hit the notification bell, it's weird. It doesn't really, it doesn't do nothing. Then in the notification bell. So if you want to know about bidding cabinets, it'll, hit the notification button. <laughs> hit the button. Hit subscribe, hit the, hit the notification bell. Button, You'll it is. just get notified every time I come out with a new, e come out with a new video. But one email. person has a question. Okay. Um, back, they want to know. Enough commercials and back yes, to the question. Is, is for antiquing, how much do you add to the base price? for antiquing the cabinets? Um, oh, so we're back on the bidding. Yeah, that's a good question. That actually is a good question because I didn't add that to my video, my 30-minute um, video. I think we video. need to stop <laughs> and go make so, a new video. Because that really, because that goes above and beyond the painting. Now yeah. we're adding a service. So, um, Have you ever done antiquing yes, on the cabinet? Yes, and it's, well, it, I, we use breakaway glaze and it mm -hmm. looks amazing. And so um, and it's very simple and easy to use. But what it does, upcharge. Um, you, you've got to, you, it's not really, you've got to just charge for yeah. it. It's not really, I wouldn't call it an upcharge, but they're Add adding, because now you say you're painted the cabinets white. Now you've got to spray breakaway glaze on it. Then you've got to um, remove the breakaway glaze. And we just use like a Brillo type pad and you just remove as much as you want. And now you've got to clear coat it. So you're adding two more spray coats to it. So that's quite and a bit so, of additional. Yeah, so whatever the cost of the cabinets are, you'd want to add a quarter of the price of those cabinets to um, do the breakaway glaze and the clear coat. You're already set up to do all the painting and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really, the breakaway glaze is actually really easy and very, because it, it dries probably in about, 50, you can start removing it in about 15 minutes. And then you can start clear coating it right then. So you can add, um, it take you half a day to breakaway glaze everything. And so add a quarter, if the price is, if the price is, I'm not a math major or mathematician. Mm -hmm. Like um, I think, I think um, Morgan is like a mathematician now. I think is what Mike says she is. She's like classified as a mathematician. Not you. Not, not me. me. I'm not. So take four thousand dollars. I don't know. What's a quarter of four thousand dollars? What? A thousand. A thousand. So you add a thousand dollars to your bid. How'd you figure that out? 
<laughs> I actually know. Take yeah. 25, 25, 25, 25 equals something. I don't know. But um, a quarter, $1,000, and there you go. That's how much you would charge more. So somebody wanted to know where can they get aqua coats? Uh, right here. But if they're not in Boise, Idaho, how would they get it? Online. What's our online store? <laughs> so our store right back here. Paintlifesupply.com is actually our I'm, store. I'm, we, I'm actually realizing we should have set up on the other side of the store because the door is open and you see our back storeroom, but that's okay. Oh, hey, let's don't show them that. No, it's okay. No, we we want to give them another view of our store anyways. So but the lighting's not very good. Yeah, it is. Okay. Look, at you can see the other side of our store. Look at that. Oh gosh, now it's bright in my face. See how we can just turn this thing? Look oh, at wow. there's the other side of our store. Looks a little messy, but it's not as messy. So if you're in the Boise area, come down and see us. We have free drinks. We got and free coffee. drinks. I didn't make any coffee today, but I gave away some waters. Lisa will hook you up with a shirt. Yeah, I like to give shirts away when people come Lisa in. Lisa likes to give away free I like stuff. To, yeah, I have a little pile of free stuff. And one of those things are, I think it's time. We're going to give away a Titan gun right now. But people that are with us, we're going to, um, we're going to, we're going to do some giveaways for you also. We're going to give away some gift cards. So we've got a winner this right is, here. This is for, they came into our store and fill out a, Thing. Dennis McGee is the winner of the Dennis Titans. McGee. Dennis so McGee. So if he's not with us, he's going to be happy because that's expensive. I know that. Yeah, that's an expensive gun. Yeah. And it's a really, really good gun. So somebody gave us, Rizzy Painting gave us. Wow. Hey, thank you. A big shout out to Rizzy Painting. And thank I think you very he much. was asking about the Aqua Coat. So guess what, Rizzy Painting? How do we? We're going to hook him up with the Aqua Coat. So Rizzy Painting. Um, so how do they? How how would Rizzy Painting get uh, so the aqua coats? A quart of aqua coat will do a average size full set of kitchen cabinets, oak cabinets right there. So, so how do we get that to Rizzy Painting? So our our website paintlifesupply.com. That's our store. There's a little um, chat icon where you can chat with Lisa live. Or Chris. And you just go down there. Or somebody else. Just say what you want. Um, you say, hey, I'm Rizzy. And then you... We need their mailing address. And then we'll ask you for your mailing address. Or and, you could just um, give it to us. Or you could just give it to us. Um, let's see, what's up, Josh? Josh Hagen is Yay, on. Hey, miss you. So, How are you doing? Um, what's up, Josh? So, all right. He says, does it seem like the CP199 tape isn't as good as it used to be? Um, you know, that's interesting. Um, who said that? Josh, but what we learned, didn't you learn about storing tape, like the climate and it doesn't last forever? Yeah, type so, thing? so definitely, yeah, because time, heat affects um, the, the tape. All tape. All tape. Heat affects tape, cold affects tape. Mm -hmm. We just got off winter. If your tape is in, been in your vans outside freezing, that it definitely affects the, the adhesive. Life. It starts to splinter as you unroll your tape. Mm -hmm. um, I like to make sure I go through my tape every year, every three months. Okay. Um, I don't want tape to be in a vehicle or in storage for more than three months. Okay. I, I always bought it by bulk. Mm -hmm. Now I paint solo by myself, so I don't I don't go through as much tape. Mm -hmm. But if you have tape that's been sitting in your storage for a year or more, it's, um, you may have problems with it splintering. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. it all depends on the quality of the tape. So um, like green frog tape is a premium paper on the tape. Mm -hmm. So it's going to have a longer shelf life to it. Okay. Um, orange frog tape is a production tape. It's not a premium paper. So um, it's going to, if it freezes or if it gets too hot, mm -hmm. actually tape sitting out in the sun, that ruins the tape. Okay. So de uh, degrades the quality of the tape. So, so good um, to know. Yeah. So. Um, so take care of your tape. Take care of your tape. Yeah. <laughs> so somebody wanted to know what do you charge to aqua coat cabinets? A very good question. So we're back onto the bidding thing, and so I'll we'll I, throw one out there. Yeah, we'll throw. I so I do. Um, I I go really in depth in the video tomorrow. It's a thirty minute video, but I charge five hundred dollars to do an average set of kitchen cabinets and applying aqua code so 500 bucks is the additional charge if they're oak and we want to get rid of grain so and this is to get rid of grain with 
two coats of aqua coat. So two coats is going to eliminate all your pinholes, all your dark shadows and stuff. It's still going to have your cabinet in the right light is going to still have a grain profile to it. Now, if a customer is wanting a complete flat profile, like these cabinets were made out of um, maple or birch, that's a whole different ball game. That's going to be um, I'm doing that right now on a vanity, five coats, and I've almost got them completely flat. And that gives you um, a cabinet door that looks like a paint grade cabinet door with no grain to it. And I, I wanna encourage you, if you um, are have a painting business or you're a painter, you know, right now there is, um, everything's getting more expensive. And um, to get tools, to get wood, to get supplies is gonna be more expensive. So it really is a good time. You know, if you don't do cabinets, it's a good way, you know, if somebody wants to update things and it's too expensive to go out and buy new ones, you could paint out cabinets and make it like new. You know, I really think it's a, it's a good idea to expand if you're not doing that now. Um, make that available because I think right now wood is so expensive and I'm hearing a lot of products are um, going up in price and that's something, you know, people can make it nice but don't have to go out and buy everything new. Yeah, so um, somebody just mentioned, I didn't see, I thought it was like CLC um, 11107 mm -hmm. or some that um, spray and do fill. The, the, the issue you got to be really, really careful with is anything you spray to fill is going like if you have a floating panel like on cabinet doors which is most cabinet doors like mm -hmm. shaker style doors or floating panels the the um, gap around it you're going to start to bridge that gap and you're going to start to run into issues um, and do you have to caulk the panels um, if you don't like caulking the panels then um, in a lot of there's that that's all opens up a whole nother you were explaining he go. had a customer come in today and, and you're explaining and i actually learned that you don't want the aqua coats to get into the cracks into these cracks and so that's why you're using the credit yeah, card. yeah so, so i use a credit card and i'm really careful applying the aqua coat not to get it in these gaps and cracks and if you spray any type of filler on there is it going to bridge the gap of this floating panel this was something a student did at one of our um, academies mm -hmm. right here. And- um, I like it. Yeah, and, and so this actually has um, breakaway glaze. So we're talking about antiquing. This is a navy blue cabinet. Um, then breakaway glaze was, glaze was added and the clear coat was added over the top of that um, by one of our students. Um, first time ever doing something like that on bare wood and it's absolutely amazing. Student did an amazing job, never even using an HVLP sprayer before. but. Uh, Spray-ons, if you're, if you're going to caulk your floating panels, then spraying on is not an issue. If you are um, not caulking them, it could become an issue. It's just a, a warning to you. Be careful what you do. Don't spray at an angle at all. When you're spraying a door like this, make sure your spray is completely flat because if you start to angle, into these cracks you're going to be bridging the gaps of those cracks it's not going to look good your customer is not going to be happy more likely and you're going to be caulking floating panels which um there's once again that opens up a whole nother can of worms we won't go into so so we um, are going to give away two gift cards for our store for 25 dollars away something yes why don't you, we have okay. two new shirts that just came in yesterday go grab them we can show them out okay. so we got two new style shirts you're yeah. always asking when are you going to come out with new shirts when, and we just keep coming out with new shirts but Here's, and this one, the, 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 our printing company was like, oh my gosh, that one's pretty dang cool. So right there, paint life, just roll with it. And we've got the Idaho background right there. That's Idaho right there, Idaho. So that's a pretty cool shirt. And then we've got um, my hand um, or somebody's hand. I, for some reason, I like the whole Shaka thing, you know, that's right there. Kind of what I do, and so we got those two new shirts. Somebody you know. wanted to know: Is your daughter still helping with the painting? So um, my middle daughter McKenna runs the store. So um, the store. she runs the online store. Um, my younger daughter works in the online store. She's our and the retail store. She's our procurement specialist, and. Um, 
and I actually paint alone, so um, I paint solo now. And um, trying to test out new products, new um, tools and everything gives me the opportunity, the time to do that. So um, I, I don't have anybody help me. Um, I wish my daughters helped me, but they got to run the store. So um, I have... And then Lisa works in the store right here. Somebody said they, yeah, they add a thousand dollars for doing the antique antiquing. Yep. So. I mean. So Mike says, I love your channel and great advice and insight, but I really want is your workout workout routine. My workout routine. Um, so I still, we just shot another video. I shot another video, how to actually do a workout without um, any equipment. And so, and using just ladders. And um, so that's kind of an interesting There's workout. a safety little exclamation or something. No, Don't there's... try this at home. It's, why would you work? There should be like a safety exclamation for anything working out for that yeah, matter. Yeah, that's true. I mean, any equipment's <laughs> dangerous. So um, you should be good working with ladders because that's what you guys do. Yeah, I so I I like CrossFit. Yesterday the CrossFit Open started. Um, I uh, did the first event in. I didn't do as well as I thought I was going to do. Um, so maybe I should I did. coach. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should. <laughs> um, I'm getting old. We, and... we know only one person completed the workout yesterday. CrossFit 21.1 was absolutely brutal. Yeah, so, we, and we went to um, two different gyms because our daughter did it at another gym yeah, and nobody at their gym did it. Nobody completed it and except one female. Yeah. Smoked it in 13 minutes and 39 seconds. And Crazy. Yeah, I didn't complete it. And it was, um, I knew I struggled on the double unders because I just learned the double unders uh, like a month ago. I finally um, got them. But the wall walks, I thought I was going to kill because I can do handstand push ups. Um, you know, I can do a bunch of them. It was way, way harder than it looked. I was, um, man, it was killing me. Do it was know brutal. But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it again. Some people are asking me, you know, don't forget to post your score. Uh, my scores will be posted because I want to see if I can get ranked as a you know 54 year old, you know, in the U.S. So um, my scores will be posted. You'll be able to see it. Um, but I'm going to redo yesterday's workout and see because I I know I I know I can do better. Okay. So well, guess what we have. But I'm to gonna give... you're gonna see like. Um, my videos, my workout videos are, are going to be coming out, so um, we're going to be posting them. Um, we got, I got a, a pretty nice home gym now um, that I can video and I spent a lot of money on, so I got to use it. And so we're going to be shooting. COVID gym. Um, it's a COVID gym. So we're going to be shooting my workouts and, and there's some people that want to see them. And then for some reason, there's some people that don't want to see them that get really mad when I post the workout video because it's not painting. And so but I, it's, it's your they, life you they share. let me know. <laughs> but you share, you share what you've learned I, in painting trades and you share what you've learned in and if people like it, they could like it. If not, that's okay. Like, this is this is Paint Life TV, but this is also what I do, man. It's like you, it just gives you a glimpse of who she is and who I am. I'm behind and the so, camera usually, but you know what? If you don't like working out, then all you got to do is not watch the video. So we have two giveaways. Let's and then give some away. Guess what? We have the mailman coming because the people purchase coming. stuff today, and so we're gonna have. We got to get going. Because people bought stuff on our online store and we want to ship it. Okay, so Lisa's gonna give some away. So um, we have Jesse Cooper. Jesse Cooper. I own Universal Coverage LLC, Southern New Jersey. Thankful for everything you do from paint to fitness. You're a huge inspiration. So, Jesse, we want to send you a $25 gift card. So, how do we do that? Um, go to our website, paintlifesupply.com. Down in the bottom right hand corner, there's the little reamaze icon. It's a chat icon where you can talk to her live when she's awake and when she's not busy. Okay. When, and so, and you, you got to give us your um, mailing address so we can ship you or email address because it's a gift card. That will email then, to you. Yeah. And if you um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider or any so, of our videos, please consider giving us a thumbs up. 
it's one of the things that just so encourages us to keep doing this. One more gift card, and then we have to get going. Prince, a nice, kind comment. Too. Prince Caspian of the Sea. I would love to represent in the Pacific Hawaii. So we're going to give you $25, and you can use that to represent in Pacific Hawaii. If you got a mean comment, <laughs> keep it to yourself. So, so um, Prince Caspian of the Sea, you won the other $25 gift card. Go to our online store. Go to our online store, paylifesupply.com. Um, if you have any questions or comments about cabinet bidding, cabinet painting, leave it down in the comment section below. Um, we, we, I try to answer. You guys should probably know. I um, have a lot of people that follow us, and I get a lot of questions and comments. We do our and best. We do our best to keep up with them. And, but if you're um, in Boise, Idaho, he spent time with quite a few customers today, so... <laughs> Quite a few. I spent a lot of time talking in here, hanging out with customers that came in, um, wanted advice. When I'm here, the advice is free and available. And, you know, we like to grab a picture with you to throw it on our Instagram and stuff. And so um, we appreciate all the kind words and all the kind thoughts so that people give us. Thomas so Thomas Freeman said he bought the Premier Montauk from your website. Love it. My cut-ins were top notch. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, yeah. he likes the brush, but we want to hear from you guys and we want to provide the tools that can help you guys have success. But we have to get going because we got packages to ship. Yeah, there's people that buy Tomorrow, stuff online that we got to get it out the door. Tomorrow, he's coming out with his video on bidding. So if you want to know how he bids and how he thinks about a job, watch it. Watch it. Give us a thumbs up. Give her a thumbs up. Let her know how much you enjoy her beautiful face on video. So, yeah, we're going to get you guys going. have a great have a great day. Saturday afternoon. I'm um, glad to be with you once again here live on Paint Life TV. Now I'm going to have to find the out button and you get a really close look at me. And we'll say bye to Invincible Quart Quarty Quarty out.